Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I am here with the new release at My Creative Time. There are so many goodies and variety in this release. Three die plates, floral, leaves, butterflies. So when you run it through your die cut machine, you're going to get multiples of each style. Two scene building die sets, mushroom and a beehive. And your gingerbread now will be singing in the rain. This is for the small and medium gingerbread. Two fun die sets as well. Rolled flowers. This is my first time playing with this. So I still have a little learning curve with that one. And umbrella dies. This is a great umbrella die with layers and you can turn it into a shaker. And a paper pad. Alrighty crafters, there's so much goodness in here. While shopping this release, to get 15% off site-wide, use the code SUZANNE. That will end Sunday night on the 21st at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Time or 2.59 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So just use the code SUZANNE, which is my name. You'll get 15% off site-wide, which includes all the new goodies too. And if you shop any time after the sale, use the same code SUZANNE to get 10% off site-wide. There are lots of goodies from the previous release. I will link my video here. And now there's new fabulous goodies. Alrighty, crafters, let's get into this video. Let's get started. First up, crafters, these are the three die plates. You get tiny flowers, leaf die, and butterfly die. With a butterfly die, you can see you'll make five of these beautiful butterflies every time you run the die once you can layer it up and there's stitch detail here so super cute and then there's the leaf die just a few runs and look at all these leafy goodness i have in here and on my examples and then look at the flowers let me give you a measurement on these flowers which you can see i've run multiple times these are my craft stacks these are crafting and storage trays really comes in handy when you're working with something like this where it's multiples such a fabulous crafty assistant so this is four inches wide by four and a quarter inch tall you're going to get three different styles of flowers if you stagger this one meaning you do one and you stagger it like so you get like a daisy you can also layer them up with each other and you also get the centers and the center works with all these styles tiny flowers fabulous you'll see it better in my example right now it's looking like puzzle pieces <laughs> so cute and with the leaf die you're going to get different styles of leaves in different orientations so there's a left and a right which i really like now you can really customize how your cards look so here's a sampling of the leaf die this tallest one one and three quarters of an inch they're not very wide though roughly half an inch or a quarter of an inch okay with these with the tops you can also put a flower on the top like so so these two play well together the flower and the tiny leaves these are fab and then the butterfly die that plate is five and a quarter wide by two and three quarter inch tall so you'll run these through your die cut machine one at a time what you could also do, you could just cut a strip about an inch wide and just run that piece. You could also cut a strip here and a strip here. This one might be harder to do quadrants, but you could still have a little oversized piece just to get those leaves. And you can definitely do strips in this one if you want to get more of a particular style. Great for fast crafting, great for pre-cutting everything for a project and then when you're ready to craft you just pull this out and you're just ready to go you don't have to spend a lot of time cutting all these individual bits so this is really nice i like that also what you're seeing in my craft stacks this is the rolled flowers they are sold separately there's a small medium and a large these are two of the small I started like so and I found that when I roll these with my hand they actually come out a little better you'll see on my example this is something that I don't do often so it's like a learning curve for me when you roll them up they really do look like roses they're very pretty and you could also use these on decor pieces and to decorate scrapbook pages so those are the rolled flowers also separately so if you wanted only smalls you could get two smalls and then you'd have a bunch of those ready to go <laughs> Let me lock up my craft stacks. All right. Here are those scene building dies. <laughs> Crafters, this is about the fourth time I'm trying to say this name. 
I keep saying beehive tie-dye. <laughs> okay, let me stop. This is the beehive tag dye. Alrighty. <laughs> three and a half inch tall by three and a quarter inch wide. It has an outer piece and then this inner piece with the stitch detail. This piece pops out so then you can have it as a different color. I'll show you on my example. That's really cute. Beehive tag dye. Yes. <laughs> then there is the mushroom stamp and die set. So with this one, you can make a mushroom, mushroom house. You can have the house with a whole scene, two clouds, and a snail. I want to take a moment to point out something to you. You see one snail, two shells. It's supposed to be two snails. In your package, if you order this set right now, you will receive the additional snail facing in the opposite direction, okay? It was just a little error, and it's been fixed. I just have not received my snail facing the opposite direction but the two shells are here it's super cute to put together so you will get the whole thing if you order this set the mushroom is four inches tall by three inches wide this layers on top of it so you could have the base in one color have the top all of the little holes in the mushroom these all pop out so you can cut this again and then pop these pieces back in put something behind it when I get to my example, I'll show you how all these pieces come together because I did create a scene with it. Here's the coordinating stamp. Snail mail, so happy we are friends. You've got mail, happy birthday. Just a little note, sorry I'm late. Happy belated birthday, that's what I use. Other sentiments as well. These are high quality photopolymer stamps. For the gingers, this is adorable. There are two versions for the small gingerbread dies and the medium gingerbread dies. Ginger rain gear one ginger rain gear too so you know that the gingerbread dies at my creative time they face two different directions here is a great example of it so you see how the die faces two different ways this arm is swung up this way this arm is swung up that way so you're getting the rain gear to fit both orientation same thing here not only are you getting the shirt that fits how their body is you're getting the full outfit two hats that then this is for the caps of the sleeves my disco one <laughs> i love this one so much when i had put her together with the glitter i loved her so much that now when i needed to put her on something i was so inspired by her that i had too many ideas i will use her in my next example on another video you'll see her okay i couldn't limit myself to what color to use how to style it i was going from a rocker card to an easel card to just a regular card is it a2 is it five by seven too many ideas so when i get like that i'll stop but she is adorable this is that here are the boots and then there's the bottom of the boots this little piece right here that's for the little um strings to adjust your neckline in a raincoat or a hoodie same type of thing and then i put gems on it here I think it's so cute. And look at the little hearts. That comes from the dice set. Ginger Rain Gear 2 is for the medium gingerbread. Here's my small ginger here tucked in the umbrella for Ginger Rain Gear 1. You see, even how... <laughs> this is so cute. Emma, this is such a lovely comprehensive set. This whole release is comprehensive, but this... <laughs> It just had me cracking up. I'm like, this is adorable. Every time, killing me with the cute. So this just is another added outfit to an amazing ginger set of dies. Love. Umbrella dies, which is a stamp and die set. I put the word shaker just to remind myself that this is a shaker. Sometimes I have to put notes like that. So you get the umbrella base. You get this part that goes right here if you want to use a different color. Here. For the handle these three go on this top piece here this is the shaker piece which would go on the top of here and then this is a little layer piece i'll show you on my example and then there's this adorable stamp set heard you are under the weather take time to dance in the rain let's weather it together wishing you brighter days get well soon showered with love hello and thanks so cute now let's get into this beautiful pattern paper six by eight and a half inch the pattern paper is called pretty watercolor and what you're going to get is 24 sheets for each of six designs this is the pattern side this lovely outdoor spring green meadow this is my favorite right here then there's this one with a pattern in the background 
it looks like lattice and then some flowers and then this is yellow flowers there's some stripes in here this is the same lattice with purple flowers love that this looks like a burlap background in white and gray with butterflies and flowers on top and then here this is that same burlap gauze looking background that's that color you see here with some pink flowers crafters this is the neutral side look at the watercolor finish so super pretty so you don't have to worry about ink blending look at this one perfect for your sky this one perfect for your grass this one is perfect for a rainy day or a night sky i like that i don't have to ink blend all of this either and you can ink on top of this too if you wish look at that purple the yellow and the pink so pretty so this is called pretty watercolors six inches wide eight and a half inch tall okay all righty crafters let's go into my examples first up look at my gingerbread examples you can make it glitterati like this i so love this with the hot pink you can also put it on this adorable note card this was from the previous release and then look at this one this is a little baby gingerbread so let me go over the gingerbread real quick the gingerbread that you're seeing here this small one this is ginger boy and girl two styles of it i do have a gingerbread video of how to do the reverse on this let me link it here so you can take a look at how to do it this style then the medium gingerbread there is sweet gingerbread person and sweet gingerbread companion to customize the expressions on the face i'm using this stamp set it's called the small and medium ginger faces so that's the base of all these adorable gingers the flowers you're seeing on these two cards is from the tiny flower die plate the leaf die plate that's there you're also seeing the rain gear one and two this is all pattern paper, pattern paper here, here, and here. This is the spring meadow pattern paper I was talking about, the green. This is the back of it. So super pretty. This sheet and the reverse down here. I had ink blend back here with a cloud stencil that's in distress oxide. Use some yellow cardstock. Look at the little flower here as a daisy. So cute. This blue cardstock that you're seeing from a previously released pad, dots, flowers, and solids right there. These three pieces were cut with this. That's the umbrella. See, I put the white here and then the handle. This is that little trim, a different shade of blue cardstock. Solid blue back here as well, this part. This is a cut line right here, so you can tuck things in, like how I tucked the gingerbread in it. So super cute. So my gingerbread is all happy in the umbrella, wishing you brighter days. That's from this stamp set here. I used the pretty circle layer die to cut this out. The largest die in here, four and three quarters of an inch okay this is a five by seven card here this is this same flower here is a daisy here is a flower i just use a little flower forming tool my mind is going blank right now the one with the little ball on the end and i did cup it that's what i use here and here get that cup shape happening so this is blue with a little clear gem in the center isn't that cute and then i put flowers over here i could have done the other gingerbread and because these are in opposite directions two styles can face each other from that same die set yeah isn't that nice this pretty little lavender styled ginger she's on the three and three quarter by four and three quarter card dies this is a whole set so you have two styles with the matting layers you could do this cross stitch look you could also do this stitch scallop so i put the stitch scallop here and then the second layer would be this one in here this is all pattern paper then i brought in some brushed silver cardstock to tone it down i was thinking of doing the glitter here but i thought it would have been too much although it is glitter here in the center <laughs> but it's a touch and i didn't put the little things this time and she's just looking so sweet the sentiment showered with love is from the umbrella stamp and die set I used the assorted mini tags to cut out the sentiment, white cardstock, and then here again, that pattern paper. Isn't this sweet? So pretty to just pop up any image on. I could have also done that too. So you can make multiples with this set, just one after the other, change up the outfits. This is another umbrella card with no gingerbread, a lot of flowers, but this is a get well soon card. This is a five by seven card. I'm using an embossing folder from my stash. Look at this umbrella. It would have been nice if I'd given you a measurement, right? <laughs> so fully assembled, four and three quarters of an inch tall by 
four and a half inch wide. If you want to put it on an A2 card, you could do like a horizontal A2 card, or you could have it hanging off of a four and a quarter, but then you would use just a bigger envelope, okay? This one features the butterflies. So super cute. So look at that butterfly plate. I have yellow cardstock, this turquoise cardstock, then the purple in the back, a little glitter down the center. This is so nice. And then you get five butterflies. You can choose to just use a one layer. You don't have to do the double layer. Then look at the umbrella. This one, I did not put that trim on. When you cut this and it has that space, it can open really wide. This is layers of flowers as you're seeing. For the flowers and the leaves, I'm using tiny flowers leaf die. I came in with the daisy dies, which comes in all three sizes here. So the large is in the back, then the medium, and then the small, and just layered up the daisies. This daisy die reminds me of this, and I wanted a bigger flower, okay? The largest daisy here is one and a half inch. So super cute though. This could be anything. So with this one is get well soon. Sentiment is from here, but I cut out the sentiment with this die from Stay Beautiful Stamp and Die Set. That was in the previous release. If you got this one, there are sentiments in here that works over here, especially with the bees. Love this right here. You get the sentiment strip and also that little scallop part. So you do a double layer, but right now you're seeing black on black with the white. And then I use some clear drops from my stash to look like water droplets on this get well soon card. So pretty, love the five by seven. Up next crafters, this is an A6 card, which is four and a half inch wide, six and a quarter inch tall. It's not as big as a five by seven, but it's not as small as a A2. Here are the rolled flowers. This is the small, this is the medium. So these are the two out of all of them that I rolled that look the most like a rose. <laughs> The others, they look, I'm not even going to show you. I need to practice some more, but this is really fun. So the small, medium, and then look at that large. The large is three and a half inch wide, the medium, two and three quarter, and the small, two inches. But once you roll it up, three quarters of an inch, roughly, and this one is under an inch, because when you roll this up, it just needs a little dab of hot glue to then hold it in place. The greenery, that's the leaf dye. Here is the one I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> beehive tag die look at that i love this so i cut like brown card stock and then i did a lot of ink blending here this is with distress oxide but i love how this came out did i make a note of it no i probably should have very honey looking to me i did start off with a lighter yellow cardstock. The center, I just color with a much darker chocolate, and then I found a pattern paper that was close to it. So the Stay Beautiful, from the Stay Beautiful stamp and die, here is the sentiment, Stay Beautiful for my B. And it's called Just Because. And this is a stamp and die set in here, the bigger B, and here's the face for the bee. I could have also used one of these sentiments because there's a lot of sweet sentiments in here. The little crown is in here. So super cute. And then there are the wings, but my wings are in vellum. See? And then I'm using an embossing folder from my stash with bees and a honeycomb. This is so pretty. I will also have additional supplies linked below as well, okay? This is a really cute embossing folder to complement this. So you can check that out. And then this is the Pretty scallop rectangle frames. I'm using that frame right here to put the beehive, the flowers, and my little bee coming out of. And that is my A6 card. Look at that. Shopping my My Creative Time stash too. Yay. Love it. And lastly, crafters, I created a whole scene with this on this 5x7 card. Love this one. So this features the mushroom house but it's called just Mushroom Stamp and Die. Did a lot of ink blending with some Distress Oxide. And then I also came on with some Splatter. There's the door. Look at the door. So cute. There's a little window. These are the clouds in the back here. There's my one snail facing this way. So your other snail that you would get would be facing to the right, okay? And then here I stamped Happy Belated Birthday which is right here in the sentiment. To cut this window out of the pattern paper, the same spring green that I love, I use the torn paper frame dye layers. This does have an inside out 
stitch detail along the cut line, okay? So there is stitching here. If it was plain cardstock, you would see the stitch detail. There is the outer layer, and then these are the matting layers. This is like you looking into this whole scene. Between four and three quarters to five inches tall, between three and three quarter to four inches wide. It's just different angles, has different measurements. So it's roughly that size for this biggest one. But this is really nice. And I just cut that little window out of the pattern paper. Then this is the same back of the pattern paper with my hill. I just use my super sharp scissors to hand cut the hill. And then I use some blue cardstock, did some ink blending. This is the back of the pattern paper too in blue for the clouds. I used this and then layered it up with some white. So this is a really fun die set, the mushroom. I love it. I think it's so cute. Finished the card. I did bring in some greenery with the leaf die and the tiny flowers. Now, the one thing about this, you can put one sheet of paper, run it through your die cut machine. If you have a newer die cut machine, like a Platinum 6, a Gemini, or an Empress, you'll do one run. If you have an older die cut machine, I would put a shimmer two on this just to make sure that everything cuts through. The best way to clean this die is to use a tool like this in the back where you just run it along because at first I was doing the poking thing and then I was like, wait a second, I brushed it, everything flew out. This is a very efficient die set. Use those little things to help you just keep it moving. In the Platinum 6, this ran one run, everything cut out, okay? So it's so fabulous. But what do you think about this? And then look at a little flower up here. I think this is adorable. So in summary, crafters, I would call this the Singing in the Rain collection. Then we still have Spring Summer too. There's a lot of fun and variety in this one. So you can make more serious cards like Get Well Soon and very cute, pretty cards and great birthday cards. If it starts to rain a lot, then you could really have fun with the under the weather, rainy day type thing, showered with love style cards. These are just adorable, whether you keep it on a small format or you go into the fuller sizes like five by seven. Okay, crafters, everything will be detailed, linked below. Get 15% off site-wide with the code Suzanne. Don't forget you have to apply it in the cart where it says coupon code. That sale will end Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time, 2.59 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you shop after that sale, then you'll only get 10% off with the same code, Suzanne. Okay, crafters, until the next video, stay crafty, my friends. Expect to see singing in the rain here, Miss Glitter Girl. <laughs> stay crafty. Bye.